Before the video starts, please leave a like, subscribe, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe. Thank you. Please follow the steps carefully so you don't mess up your files. This method is not bannable, so don't worry. First of all, reset your current gamer user settings. To do that, fully close your Epic Games launcher. So basically go here in the taskbar, click on this arrow right here. And then as you can see, Epic Games is open. Even, even if it's not open in the taskbar, you have to go here and then right click, click on exit. And then if you have some downloads running, it will ask you to cancel them. So for the video, I am going to cancel them. All right, now hit Windows key plus R and it will pop up a box like this uh, for you it will be all blank so type in percentage local app data and then percentage again and then click ok so it will come up a bunch of files right here uh, you have to search for fortnite okay so basically click on f and it will take you to fortnite all the folders starting with f open it i click enter and then go on saved config windows client and here we have the beautiful game user settings so what you're gonna do just right click click on delete and then it's gone so now you might be asking how am i going to get the new game user settings so basically just run fortnite and it will create a new freshly game user settings file all right ladies and gentlemen now we are in the game as you can see we're going to change some settings inside fortnite so head over to the settings as you can see it's already on windowed full screen, but I never recommend anyone to play on windowed full screen. I always play on full screen. Uh, FPS, it depends on your uh, monitor hertz. If you have a higher hertz, if, if you, for example, if you have a 360 hertz, uh, you have to change it to 360. Uh, if your PC can push to this FPS, uh, for now I'm going to keep it on 120 FPS. Leave this to as it is. If you want, you can use some color blind if you want. Uh, it really depends. Now here we're going to change our view distance to near. We're going to change our textures to low. Uh, this one affects your ping okay so i really recommend that you don't use high resolution texture because it's going to download in the, uh, as you play because as it says over here slow internet connections will like require performance performance and then it will like affect your performance so just turn it on off and then this one also keep it on off and then meshes keep it on low if you want to look it good you can put high but uh, fps will be at stake so keep it on low and then we have v-sync turn it off and then we have fps if you want to show fps then you can show i'm going to sh keep it on on and then rendering mode if you're new you ha you might be having uh, direct x 11 or direct x uh, 12 but you have to change it to performance i trust me performance mode is the best uh it's going to give you high fps and it's like everyone is using performance mode and then last but not least click on apply so as you can see it's saying that uh, you have to restart the game for all changes to take effect and then you have to do that all right so once you have restarted your game it's now time to go back to uh, the game user settings okay so windows key plus r and then as you can see local app data click ok and then find fortnite and then saved and then config and then windows client and then game user settings so to open it click on right click on it open with and then as you can see notepad every windows will have a notepad and then it will have a bunch of names a bunch of numbers here so you might be a bit confused okay first thing first it's a very handy tip Control f it will give you this okay it's going to literally say find what so basically if you can't find the, uh, the settings uh, just find it here type in anything and it will find for you okay so as you can see right here i can already see it b it says show grass okay so i'm going to turn this to false it really doesn't affect battle royale but it only affects uh save the world if you play save the world you won't see grass only performance mode disables grass all right so one once that is done 
uh, we'll have to change another setting which is ray tracing okay so the first one has to be false and then uh, the reflections quality must be zero okay so basically it was two and then you just change it to zero ambient occlusion quality you have to change that to false okay last thing is to change the ao quality from one to zero and then uh, this one has to also be zero okay all right following up we have display gamma as you can see it's on 2.2 you have to keep display gamma at 2.2 if it's like on 2.0 you have to change that and put 2.2 Two. and now we have to find disable mouse acceleration so I can't really find it here so I'm going to control F and then mouse I'm going to type in mouse and then it's going to find so as you can see it found for me disable mouse acceleration let me just close this one as you can see disable mouse acceleration is on false you have to change this to true okay basically just that but when it comes to fortnite it, ro it uses a raw input in the game so to change the mouse options you have to change it inside windows i'm going to show that later and now we have to go all the way down as you can see we have scalability groups it's a hard word to say either way these are the settings that you have to change uh, the first one is 100 the second one is one and then put everything in zero so the quality must be zero the reflection quality must always be zero and then keep everything as zero and also shading quality must also be be zero and ladies and gentlemen that is done your game user settings is now changed and now for the most important bit is to save so how do you save you can either control s and it's going to save or you can come in here file and then just basically save but if you want uh you can also go a further step and then right click properties and click on read only and then click apply i'm going to do this so the change the settings doesn't change inside uh fortnite by itself all right so let's say that you don't like the settings you can always reset the game user settings by just clicking on it and then just delete i'm not going to do that because i don't want uh to reset everything but if you don't like how the game looks and uh something is messed up and then you just right click delete it and then run fortnite again it will create a new file for you so this is how you change the mouse acceleration inside the windows so windows key type in mouse and then you see mouse settings and then click on it go over here additional mouse options and then on this one you go to pointer options and then disable this one enhance pointer precision it will look a bit weird once you uh, disable it but you'll get used to it and then click apply so that is done ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll see you in the next video